Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another curated bead box. This is a $20 monthly subscription and I have a coupon code for you to get 35% off your first box. Use code AGERM35. I'm going to put a link for this box and the coupon code down there below in the description bar. And the theme for this one is called Treasure Chest. It looks very interesting. Looks like there's some pretty stuff in here. There's some stuff that's kind of hard to see. Like there's some beads in here. It's probably like a bead mix. And uh, I don't know. I always find stuff in the box that I don't see in the picture. Anyways, here is the list of the things we are getting in the box. Here's the codes for them. You can go to dollarbead.com and put the model numbers in. And reorder some of these things if you want. And man, I have the urge to sneeze. I already sneezed twice, but I am so excited for burning. Okay. Hopefully, I don't see my camera. Alright, so. Close this. Put this to the side. Oh, wow. Wow, this is really pretty. This is really, really pretty. I love that one. This is gorgeous. I love the champagne color. I actually collect this color in Czech class. It's a really nice mix. Oh my gosh, the charms. There's a lot of charms. Okay, I gotta dump this out. Oh, that's nice too. I like that. I'm gonna give it the paper. I can the pin in the third. Oh wow, they give us wire or something. This is different. I guess this is wire. I've never seen that before. Is this a new thing? I'll see. It'll it'll tell me on the list. Okay, so there's some wire. Here's the kit of findings. And here's some more. These are either earring hoops or the what's it called? wine glass charm rings. You can use them for either or probably. Those are cool. Look at those. Oh, the whole diagonal. Okay. And then we have them in gold and in silver. That's awesome. Those are very fancy. A mixed bag of charms. I like this bead mix. It's really pretty. Look at that. Ready and then oh my gosh, there's another bead mix. This box is really different than um some of the other boxes I've got in the past. That's a cool mix too. Right, let's see. Uh biggest ones first, right? There's one. These are all the same. These all look like ten. Those are really pretty. I would never think to put these together together. They look great. Okay, and then we have more metal beads. These are 8 millimeter silver balls. And then this is a huge bag. I wonder how many are in here. And it's pretty heavy. And they're not um, solid. They're hollow. But there's so many in here. I wonder if it's um, brass. Four millimeter. These are awesome. They have huge holes. You can literally string these over top of seed beads. The holes are so big. Okay, and then we have these two six millimeter strands. That one's champagne. I don't know what this color is, but it is gorgeous. These are really pretty. Okay, to the list. This box is so different. First thing, 10 millimeter latte glass pearl bead. Eight inch string, so that's gonna be this. I, I guess I would describe this color as bronze. It is very beautiful. And it's metallic y, so you can use it in place of, you know, metallic spacer beads if you want. And then what's next? 
10 millimeter silver crackle glass bead, 8 inch ring. This one, I just say this is great. This is gorgeous. Um, I do think that I have this champagne color in this size, but I don't think I have it in this gray. I'm not a gray person, but this is gorgeous. This would be beautiful as a stretch bracelet. That is really classy. Super classy. Gorgeous. Okay. What's this going to be called? 10 millimeter rust gray duo style glass bead. 6 inch string. Rust gray. I, I don't think it looks rusty. To me it looks orange. It just looks orange. It looks like a gemstone. It really does. That's gorgeous too. All three of these as stretch bracelets would be nice together. I like them a lot. Look how pretty that is. And I think that this looks really good with that strand there. It's very nice. Okay, and then after that, six millimeter champagne round crackle glass bead, 16, 16 inch string. This is so long. It seems like these smaller beads are on really long strands. The 6 millimeters and the 4 millimeters are like 16 inch strands every time I get this. They are gorgeous. Now remember, I did do a tutorial using a full length 16 inch strand on a bracelet. So there's two here. Is this 16 too? Yes. Yes. So I'll put a picture for that if you want. You can use these two strands to make that project. Alrighty, so that is gorgeous. And then this one, this one's called Latte also. 6mm Latte Jade Style Glass Bead, 16 inch string. So this bead is not clear, it's actually milky. And then they put this coating over it. And it just looks so cool. I've actually never seen a color like this in beads before. It's really unique. Ready and then approximate one ounce cafe latte design glass bead mix. And then after that is another bead mix. So I wonder if it'll be this. The second one is approximate one ounce sparkle and shine designer glass bead mix. Either way, I'll do both of them. So I'm going to put this over here, dump this out. Oh, these are cool. I love these. These are so cute. They're really pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that pattern in there. Oh, don't drop it. Really cute. It's the same bead, different size. But this one here has a really unique marbling, pretty marble in it. Yeah. Okay, those are adorable. And then there's this big one here, which I've got this in the 6mm and I used it to make a necklace and a bracelet. I'll put a picture up for that for some inspiration for you guys. Okay, and then this one too, I've got this one and I used this in a 10mm and a bracelet. I like that one a lot. And then we have some brown crackle. Is that a crackle? Yep. In 8 and 10 millimeter. Some are darker than others. It's like an amber one right there. Here's another. There's an orange one. That one's really pretty. It's so glowy. It glows inside. Oh, here's two more of those brown beads. But it's a different shade of brown with blue splatter on it. We have some pearls.
And this is cool. It looks like there's a fungus or mold growing on this bead. Oh, well, there's a few of them. Different sizes. So all of these, I think they're like the same. They're kind of neat. And you know, a bead like this one here, I think I would make a ring with this. Just because like th this one here is so unique. I don't know why I'm like really drawn to that one. It's so pretty. Remember that hugs and kisses ring I made? I used an eight millimeter, eight millimeter bead for that. But I also did that video again using barrel shaped beads. And this could also be used for the hugs and kisses ring. And I think I did a spiral galaxy ring. I'm talking about some really old designs from like over 10 years ago. But yeah, th that would be an awesome bead to do a ring like that. Okay, and then these are pearls. That one's gorgeous. I don't think I've seen that one before. That's really pretty. I love that color. Of course there's one, right? And here is this bead in matte. Never seen that in matte before. Okay, and I should have got a bead scooper thing out. Here's one. Oh my gosh. I have very exciting news. Do you guys remember... Where'd my bag go? Do you guys remember the butterfly stitch that I did? I'll put a picture up now. That was a tutorial. So you can go and watch it in case you missed it. Anyways, in that video, I asked you guys if you would like me to try and make any other beaded patterns. And someone said a beaded bee pattern. And so I was playing around last night and I got a bee design to work. And someone else wanted me to do people, beaded people. I didn't try doing that yet, but I know that it can be done. But the bee is so darn cute. And I want to do a tutorial on it. It's going to be a beaded honey bee bracelet. You can make a choker with it. Um, anklet, whatever you want to do with it. But I'm trying to figure out, do I make it a pattern with all bees? Because in the butterfly stitch, I did two variations. I did a butterfly only bracelet and it was butterflies flying in different directions. And then I did a butterfly pattern that had flowers in it. So with the daisy chain. So I'm thinking about doing a bee of a daisy flower and then a, a butterfly and then repeat that again. But there would have to be um, daisy flowers in between the bee, the bees and the butterflies. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I will probably do a um, a vote question thing on YouTube. I can do a poll and see what you guys would like me to make. I could do, um, I guess I could do it like I did the butterfly bracelet where I can have two variations with all bees stitched together. Or I could do bees, flowers, and butterflies. I don't know. Do I just do bees and, and flowers? Because I think that, you know, I did the bees and, or the butterflies and the flowers together was awesome. And I feel like I should do the flowers again with the bees because it just it made it so much better. Anyways, next thing, this back here. I'm really excited about it. I have to do more work on it and um, I do want to perfect the design a little bit more so there's no issues making it and I have to figure out how much thread it takes and all that. Wow. Um, I'm going to dump this because it's too much for this tray. What are these little beads here? The rondelles. These are so bizarre. Those are really unique. There's a bunch of them. 
They have big holes. I could put some leather through there. I can't really tell if it's glass or if it's plastic. I think it's glass. It just feels lightweight. It's really neat. Okay, there's a lot of those. Yeah, we're, we're probably all going to get different amounts, but that's a lot. Okay, I'll put these back in the baggie. I'm not sure if they're glass. I swear they seem lightweight. Maybe they are glass. I don't know. They don't look plastic. They just feel light. Okay, and then... This is awesome. I've got this before, but in a huge version. This is glass. It's a really big hole. Here it is in another shape. They're really pretty. And all of, I love that one. That one's really gorgeous. And then there's two of these. These are Chinese faceted glass. That one has a huge hole. Here's some more gray. I got four. Pretty. I have way too many um, glass pearls in my stash. Gray pearls. And what is this? Oh my gosh, I love that. It's like electroplated, but only on one side. That's a really cool bead. Hope to see more of those in the future. And this is like the brown from earlier, a different color. These have huge holes rondelles and this is a faux um, druzy bead it's glass but it's just as good quality related to me as the gemstone druzy ones I like them just as much and that's a glass bead yeah strange it's like a grayish it's like a gray white color and then we have this weird triangle shape, I guess I would say, from the side. See, that's a little strange. Okay, and then on to the next thing. Alrighty, I didn't go through these bags yet. Next thing is 14 by 8 millimeter silver luster faceted bicone glass bead 8 bead. Oh, this. I don't think this is a bicone though. It's a oval shape. Wow, these look really nice. Especially outside the bag. It's like an oil slick, what's it called? Rainbow or iris rainbow, but it's like on the inside of the bead. It's very fancy. Those are gorgeous. And I love these huge holes because you can use them with thick cording on leather and stuff. Alrighty, and then after that, four millimeter gold iron bead approximate 200 beads holy moly right here I said it was heavy 200 four millimeter gold iron beads so these beads be careful not to get them wet because they will rust they're made of iron um I was washing beads they were really dirty and so I put them into a bowl of water and I let them soak and when I went to go and I feel even in my hand I could feel the weight on it. Um, when I dumped them out and dried them off, they ended up rusting on me. They were gold. But they were very old. It was some really dirty stuff I was going through. And I didn't care for them. I didn't want them. It was gemstones that I was getting out and glass beads I was washing. And um there was just a few in there. So anyways over here, 8 millimeter silver brass spacer bead. This. 
so these won't rust, the brass. But the silver, silver will wear off and there's gold underneath. It just seems so weird to take a gold bead and put a silver plating over it to me. It's like, it's already gold and brass color. Why not just put the gold plating over the brass bead? But there are beads like that. Anyways. These are very gorgeous. Listen to that sound. I like that sound. Not the bird screaming, but the sound these make. It's a pretty sound. Alrighty, next thing. Oh, and if you ever clean these beads, never put them in a chemical. Always use those jewelry cloths. You can use a disposable one or the recyclable fabric one. That's the one I have. After this is 24 millimeter silver. Silver. Why can't I? I feel like I can't say silver. Silver metal wire glass hoop. What? Six hoops. It says glass hoop. Oh, I know what it means. And I said it wrong. 24 millimeter silver metal wine glass hoop. Somehow I skipped wine. Or maybe I said it. I don't know anymore. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Okay? Don't give me a hard time. So, these are for um, wine glasses, which I never use these for wine glasses, but whenever I get these, what I do is I bend this wire straight. Now, sometimes this wire can break off because it's like work hardened. So, if that happens, don't cry about it. If it breaks off right there at that bend, that's fine. Put some beads on it that you like, like from this mix here. These rondelles are awesome, right? Maybe find a center bead, maybe do like five beads, whatever. You could do all of those rondelles if you want. Anyways, put some beads on it, and then you put the end, bend the end up again, so it's like this, right? And then you put this through here, and then you fold this into a loop. And then you put this onto a shepherd's hook ear wire. And there you go. You have earrings. This this piece is not actually going through your ear. The um, shepherd's hook ear wire is. But it's just like a quick and easy, cute way to make hoop earrings. Instead of using these for wine glasses. Get what I'm saying? That's what I like to do with these. Alright, we're going this way. Next thing. 20 through 20, uh, 20 through 30 millimeter Hamza silver metal charm. Eight charms. This is a new item. These are cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Those are so cool! Oh! How many do we have? Okay, there's two of those. This is eight, but how, like, how many of each is what I'm saying. That one's definitely my fave because it's double-sided. So pretty. Okay, and then... That's not double-sided. But these are also adorable. If I were to make these into a necklace, I would go just like this, like this, to on this side. Yeah, and then I would put this one in a bracelet, but put all these onto jump rings, right? And of course you're going to have to space them out with beads. Yeah. If I were to do it in that close. But that is like um, a way of using a lot of pieces at one time. Um, how bendy is this? I think it bends easily. I was going to say, this here, I've been seeing a lot of stainless steel pieces like this lately. You can put this into a bracelet because there's a hole here and here. You would do a macrame bracelet with it, but it's so thin. I don't think that's a good idea. It's super thin. It's probably best to do... 
um, earrings with it. Or in a necklace, like I said. What about stacking these? Oh, definitely. That's another option. Stacking. And if I were to stack them, and look, even in a necklace, I could go like that. And of course, I would have to have beads in between to separate them. That's cool. Adds more dimension. Yeah, those are really neat. Nice charms. Okay, I want to play with the square beads because I want to show you something. Um, 8mm gold metal square spacer bead, approximate 10, and then 8mm silver metal square spacer bead, approximate 12. That's weird. So, gold has 10, and silver has 12. Wait a second. I think they both have 12. That's what it says on the left. 10 and 12. See at the bottom? So these have a diagonal hole, which is kind of rare. I never get to see these beads. I think I only have um, one bead in my stash that's f flat, square, but with a diagonal hole. And the reason why I love these is because you can weave them with red angle weave, right? And this is what they do. This pattern right here. Because the hole's going this way, holes this way, holes this way. And then the next hole is going to be straight. And then you crisscross to the next one, like this. And the next straight hole, right? Oh my gosh, let's do it with these two different colors. So, this is the crisscross bead. These go straight. And then you crisscross to this. You know what I'm talking about? Two needle right angle weave. I used to do this stuff all the time. Oh, it's so cool. I would probably do it with um cord. Maybe S long cord. Just like that. You could do a pattern just like this with cord and on the sides. You could do macrame knotting, but you would have to wear this as a bracelet so they stay flat, but isn't that pretty? I also thought about putting seed beads in, you know, when you come out of bead, you would put seed beads in the, in, at, at each hole of the bead. I actually think these might be the same size as the clear ones that I have in my stash. Maybe I could make something like that. And these are supposed to go in separate bags, but I'm just going to put them together. Alrighty. Because I've been playing with the beads. What's next? One thing left. Alright, there's another bag. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, one millimeter silver necklace memory wire. Ten spirals. I did not know that existed. Necklace memory wire? Actually, I, I did know this existed. I just haven't seen it in like a very long time. One time I went to Goodwill and I bought a Goodwill jewelry jar. And there was this necklace in there. It was made with check beads and lampwork beads. And it was on a memory wire like this. And I just thought it was the weirdest piece of jewelry. It was beautiful, the design. But having this as a necklace... I could just see it easily coming off, especially with the weight, because that necklace was heavy. There was a lot of beads on it, but this is really neat. Um, I don't think I would use it for a necklace. I think I would probably do a Christmas ornament or something with this. It's like a slinky, a giant slinky. I would like to play with this, though. Hmm...
Yeah, I think I would do something else with this other than a necklace. Okay, so that was everything on the list. But of course we have this additional bag here of findings. I need to do a better job laying everything out. Bag, in case you're new to this, we have jump rings. These are six millimeter and they're a thick gauge jump ring. I like them, they're nice, strong quality. We have shepherd's hook ear wires or fish hook. There's different names for them. We have head pins and these are a very thick gauge. I've used these several times already and I like them. And we have crimp beads. Whenever you use crimp beads, always flatten them. Don't use a crimp tool. Don't fold them because they will crack. I've learned it the hard way. And this is lobster claw clasp. And memory wires for bracelets. This was the necklace version. And elastic cord. They have really good quality elastic cord. It's strong. It doesn't break easily. And beach ring wire. Alright, so here's everything I'm getting in this month's box. I found it very interesting and different. Wow, these look really good with this. Those look really good together. Whoever did this box did a very good job. I don't think that I would have put these colors together, but I like it very much. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the box opening. I'm going to link the curated bead box down there below in the description bar and I'm also going to link the coup or not link but I'll post the coupon code down there so you can see it in the description bar and remember if there's things you like here you could put the codes in and reorder these on the dollar bead website if you do go there one of my favorite beads that they sell is the Druzy beads which is this one here in silver um, I'm not that crazy about it in silver, but I do love the bronze gold, and they have rainbow iris, and there's green iris and blue iris. Those, oh my gosh, there's an orange, like AB orange. Those are gorgeous. So check out the Druzy beads, because they're one of my favorite beads to get on the site. They are gorgeous. They're not actual Druzy. They're made of glass, but they are beautiful quality. All right? So this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos, and follow me on my social media sites. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.